So this is the Martha, which is, uh, we call it that because it's made from two uh, Martha Stewart home living salad bowls. So we wanted to run with that, and we've just been coming up with different acronyms for this. The one that we have on the board is that we came up right before class was MIDI Activated Real-Time Heuristic Apparatus. Originally, our original idea was to make it out of a globe, and I had one at home, but my parents couldn't find it, so we didn't get that. The way we've set it up is that it's kind of a drum machine uh, that all these different FSRs, uh, the force sensing resistors, they uh, trigger, when you press on them, they trigger different samples. And uh, what we have here, this is the breadboard with all the circuits, uh, all the FSRs going to here. Um, we just happen to have two $150 accelerometers lying around, so we figured we'd put them to good use. Right. They're sensitive enough that we could measure the change in value when you tilt the, the ball on different axes. So we're actually using them as tilt sensors. So we have them set up uh, perpendicular to each other, so they uh, measure two different axes. If you roll it forward and back, that controls the speed of the samples. And if you uh, roll it left and right, that controls a filter frequency. Uh, we have rotating potentiometers up here, uh, which unfortunately we haven't been able to get, um, well, they work, but we haven't actually wired them to anything. The thing that's really different about this project is that we don't use Reason, uh, the software synthesizer. Instead, we everything's still MIDI activated, but what we do is that we worked in a language called MSP, which deals with audio directly and not MIDI. George told us about this function called Groove, and we said, sure, let's work with it. And uh, now that we've done it, it was definitely worth it, but it was definitely a lot more work. Just trying um, The nice thing about the accelerometers, though, is once you get to a certain point, it actually starts uh, playing the loop backwards. Yeah, that's really cool. Just, so, yeah. We, had, we fiddled with the range, and it came out great. Matt worked on the samples, so they're all 100 uh, beats per minute. So when you, if you trigger things at the same time, they'll play in unison together, and they'll so you can play two drum beats in unison, and they'll be right on top of each other. And when you rotate it back and forth, it will change speed in unison. <coughs> Some of these samples I haven't heard because he was in here until God knows when last night. <laughs> We all have a different approach. Six people have died since those fires started. I'd like to get my hands on the one who's causing them. Six people have died. Turn it back around, the values start to... It's more fun with three guys. I'll work on one. <laughs> I mean, everyone wants to control the globe. 